As you might know, the New York City Marathon is this weekend. If you're not familiar with the race, it's where people travel from around the world to Staten Island. And that's not even the worst part. From the starting line in Staten Island, they then run the marathon, which is 26.2 miles. I couldn't run 2.6 miles. Even if someone was trying to kill me, I probably would just give up around mile 1.5 and switch to a strategy of pretending I was into it. I'd be like, you picked me to kill when you could have picked any girl you wanted? I mean, you can't suffocate me if I'm making you feel suffocated. Anyway, I just have no idea why people run the marathon. I'm about as athletic as this guy. When I was a kid and we played dodgeball in gym, I would get hit by the ball on purpose so that I could sit down. I know it's wrong to hate someone just because of their hobby, but marathon runners close down the roads, which makes traffic insane. So it's not a victimless hobby. At least the crackheads on the streets generally have the decency to stick to the sidewalks. Plus, the crackheads only talk about crack with people they're at least pretty sure do crack too. But marathon runners? I'm convinced the only reason that they do do it is so they can tell people about it. The only thing that keeps them going is thinking of all the likes they'll get if they post about it on Instagram. Get married or have a baby for the likes like a normal person, guys. It's crazy, but so are a lot of things these days. For instance, a house in San Jose, California just listed for $1.55 million, even though it has a toxic meth lab inside. 2.35 pounds. Point three five. That's the last of it. A real estate consultant said that meth residue could still be in the house's heater, AC, and walls, and cleaning it could cost hundreds of thousands of dollars. But I'm not so sure about that. I'm sure that there are people who would do it for, I don't know, the meth in the heater, AC, and walls. Speaking of expensive, Public records show New Jersey Governor Phil Murphy's office spent taxpayer money at a Taylor Swift concert. The spending reportedly included $936 on food and drinks, which is infuriating. If you're eating during a concert, then you aren't even really a true fan. People weren't following the Grateful Dead around because they couldn't get enough of the nachos. While we're on the topic of overpaying for food, McDonald's has started costing a lot of money. One Mickey D's in Darien, Connecticut, has reportedly started charging as much as $18 for a Big Mac combo meal. Okay, I'm confused by what they mean by as much as $18. Like, can you barter at McDonald's in Connecticut? Or maybe they give you a discount if you're hot. Speaking of hot, Elon Musk says X will be a fully fledged dating site within the year. X, FK, Twitter um, should uh, represent the sort of collective consciousness of humanity. To which all the old men in my mentions said, it already is. Just look at what we write on here. Please don't tell my wife. Plus, anything is a dating site if you try hard enough. Just check the DMs I sent to the service team at littlecaesars.com a few years ago. Yeah, that pepperoni pizza wasn't the only thing that was hot and ready. Speaking of getting burned, United Airlines is trying a new boarding policy where economy passengers in window seats will board first, then people in the middle and people in the aisle. Some flyers were not taking it well. I am telling you right now, that, that back there is not real. United Airlines welcomes feedback about the new policy, or at least that's what they say to make people think that they actually see economy passengers as humans. But I guess if the policy doesn't work, the airline can always change it or just make a series of worse, more upsetting decisions and get bailed out by the government if it runs out of money. Anyway, United is projecting that it's going to shave two minutes off boarding time. Yeah, they're going through all of that trouble and shaming for two minutes. 
What is this policy, a one-night stand? Speaking of crazy, disgusting things that I have definitely never done, apparently mullets are making a comeback with young people. What's the story here? I'm a white trash idiot. What? It's something I definitely have a right to judge, as my hair definitely looked great at every age. In other news, Kamala Harris bragged about Joe Biden being alive in perhaps one of the most awkward clips I've ever seen. Joe Biden is very much alive and running for re-election. Our democracy is on the line, Bill. And I frankly, in my head do not have time for parlor games when we have a president who is running for re-election. Yikes. And here I thought that someone insisting that someone else is very much alive was something I could only hear on Investigation Discovery. It's a tough video. But perhaps not as crazy as this one of Governor Gavin Newsom playing pickup basketball with kids in China. <laughs> the child later died of embarrassment, <laughs> which is perhaps not as crazy as this one. Yeah, the way all those people cleared out, you'd think that that deer was telling everyone how marathons changed his life. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.